The elements closest method in the JavaScript DOM allows you to start at a child element and then using a selector, go up the DOM tree until you find an element matching that selector. In other words, the closest parent element to whatever your target is. So if you've been watching my channel for quite some time now, you know that the closest method is probably my favorite JavaScript method out there. As you can see, the mango is bold. Let's go inside the HTML. It looks like this here, ally strong mango, okay? And an ID on that strong tag. So in the JavaScript, I've got a reference to that strong tag using query selector. Now let's start from this strong tag and get a reference to the unordered list without having to say parent element, then parent element, okay? so. We'll say here, const list equal to strong mango. Now, like I said before, you could say parent elements dot parent elements, but what if you're down a few more levels? You need to keep track of how many levels there are in order to go back to exactly, okay? that's This is where the closest method is gonna come in handy. So what you can say instead, and it's much more reliable, is to say closest, like this, then pass through here a selector, for example, ul. Console.log list here, I'll save this. Now we have a reference to that unordered list from that strong mango tag. Okay, another example of where this comes in handy, and this here is actually really important. Let's say you have a button inside these list tags or whatever it might be on your web page and you need to figure out where the button is when it gets clicked on because you may not know which button was clicked on exactly in terms of its surrounding context. So let's have a look here. I've got a list of these buttons doing a query selector all on the class of btn-add, of course, coming from this right here. So we have these three buttons. Then saying for each of these three buttons, let's add an event listener for the click event and console log. I'll say this, go back in the browser, click on these, and of course we get clicked right here three times, etc. But I need to know, okay, I've got this button, which list item is this button for? Well, you can use closest. Let's say btn.closest, then pass through ally. I'll just console log this, and of course you're gonna see, it's gonna tell you which one was clicked on, save this, Click here, we get, of course, Apple. Do it again, we get banana. And that is all for this video. If this one helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to Decode. And here is another video.